So in the last challenge, we looked at how we can update a record using a logical three-step process. But Mongoose already has some methods that we can do this so that we can do this in one step. And I'll show you how that works. So in the uh, people collection, I have this record called Oliver. And what I want to do is I want to change the name and the age. And I want to do it in one step. So the way we can do that is on the model, which again is called person, I can call a method called find one and update. And this method does um, what we think it does from the name. It finds one record from a set query and it updates it with the values that we want. So the first argument to this is an object with our desired properties. And I want to select the record that has the name of Oliver like this. So I would put name Oliver like this. The second argument is an object with the desired properties that we want to set it to. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to change the name to Oscar and I want to change the age to let's say 26. So I put, I put the desired properties in like this. And the final argument is a callback function that once again takes in error and data. And let's have a look at what this data is. So if there's an error, we want to log the error again. Otherwise, um, we can look at the data. And you'll see something very interesting about this data. So if we save all of that and then run the this is in the file example.js that I just created right here. So if I run the example.js and just wait for it to apply that, uh, we can see we get some warnings. But again, if we look in here and we just refresh this, um, we should hopefully find that, yeah, this entry has been updated and the name has been changed to Oscar and the age has been updated to 26. But if we look at what gets logged in the console, we can see that this data right here that it returns is actually the old record before it was updated. And this is just a default convention that Mongoose has set to, rec to return the old record. And there's a way we can do that. And we can specify an option as a third optional argument here. And the option we want is new. And new means that it will return the modified document rather than the original. And again, it says that it defaults to false. So we can add our third argument here. Right now it's a callback function, but we can add another third argument here. And here we can give it an object with the options. And we want the new pro the new option to be set to true this time. And let's say I'm change I just want to change the name from Oscar to Owen this time. Um, and I'll leave the age for now. So if I save this file now and I restart the server. I'll restart the script. Let's see what happens. And no, that has returned null. Oh, my bad, because this we changed it to Oscar this time, so we wanted to put the name as Oscar. That makes sense, actually, why that wasn't working. So if we try it again now, hopefully, if we go ahead and um, refresh the data here, Let's hope it works this time. Yeah, we can see that the name now has been changed to Owen. And the data that was returned here is actually um, the new record right here. And we have Owen now to work with. So this is essentially what we're going to do. So let's stop that now. And what they want us to do is they have this find and update function right here. And it takes in a person's name. And what we want to do is update the age of that person to this age to set, which is 20. Again, I thought it would be better if we're taking the age to set in the function, but they've just done it like this. So basically, this function sets whoever's name you provide, it sets their age to 20. So what we want to do here is to call the find one and update on the person. And by the way, you can also um, do a method called find by ID and update. And instead of the object with our desired properties, we can give the ID if we know that. But this one works with the person name. So we want to use the find one and update instead. And here the name, we want the name to be equal to the person name. So we can just put person 
name like this. And second argument is the desired pro the properties that we want to set. And we want to set the age of the record that's been retrieved. And we want to set that to this age to set variable, which is 20 right here. Um, so for the testing, we need to give the um, we need to give the updated record to the done function so it can be tested. So we want to make sure that we give an option object here and we want to set new to true. And finally, we can write the callback function which takes an error and data. And I'm going to specify this data and this data is the updated record. I think that makes more sense in this context. And again, if there was an error, we want to um, log the error. Otherwise, so in this else statement, this means the error is null. We have the updated record here and we want to call done again and the error is null and the data is the updated record. And then um, if we save this now, what should happen is in the um, server.js, what it will do is if we go to find edit, um, Anyway, it's, it's on one of these. I think it's the update, this this one right here. What it will do then is it will um, resolve the JSON, the, da the data or the updated record as a JSON, and then it will use that to ch check whether it works. But regardless, once again, what this does is it finds a record with this person's name, which is the person name we took in here. It sets the age of that record to the age to set here, and then it returns, it updates it and returns a new um modified record and then we give this to the done function to be marked. So that should be everything for this. So we can copy the live app link and paste it into here and hopefully that should work. And no, that did not work. Let's try it again. Um, oh, I think it might be something to do with this. Let's try this. Yeah, it's just because I forgot to comment out this, but all of this code is fine. So yeah, you can just go ahead and submit that.